Hey everybody, it's Monday. Just making my way to work. So, I felt really like crappy last night. After I ended the vlog, I went home and like my stomach was hurting. And um, while I was getting my bottle of water and my wife's drink at Bucky's, um, I was having chest pain and it was causing me to have a headache, which is something I've had a headache before but not as I was having chest pain so the symptoms were a little different and it's a little weird but I just need to hold out hope that I'll be you know everything will be fine until I can go to the to the doctor which is on the 18th um, I really wish my wife picked the doctor I've been to before the heart doctor we went to when I had um, insurance because she was wanting to find out why I was having erratic heartbeat. And we already know it's these things that they're called PVCs. They're pulmonary ventricular contractions, I think. I don't know. I may be saying that completely wrong. Um, but it's just basically where another one of the electrical pulses in your heart um, gets out of timing. And then has to make your whole heart speed up so everything catches back up. And I don't have them very often. I haven't had them, but maybe once or twice since I've had the problems I'm having now. So, but uh, I'll be glad to get this taken care of. So that way we know we can go on vacation and we don't have anything to worry about. Cause I, I basically have to wait on doing anything else with vacation until we've um, talked to the doctor and he says, yes, you're okay. And you know, nothing bad's going to happen if you go on vacation because otherwise I don't want to plan a bunch of crap and spend a bunch of money and then have to be out the money because we can't go so just have to wait and see just ran to Freebirds and got me some nachos and nearly got some idiot in a Honda passport to cream the side of my car because I was backed out and he decided that it was more important for him to go than me to go so just another day of driving in Austin. All right, on my way home and it's raining. <laughs> it rained at work and while we were in a meeting, a uh, lightning bolt actually hit a pole outside of the building. It was louder than crap, but yeah, it's been pouring um, for probably a couple of hours now, I'd say. Uh, it stopped raining at my work, but, well, I guess it was still like misting, but it poured down rain. I'm sure we got like two and a half inches where we were at. It rained a lot, really quick. So it's sprinkling on me now. It's not a downpour at this point, but we'll take it, especially in early August and the outside temp 75. That still boggles my mind. And I'm on this, this, uh, asphalt road if I was on like a concrete or something like that where it's not retaining as much heat well I don't know concrete probably retains as much but uh, if I was closer to home um, and it had been raining where the highway isn't as traveled as where I'm at right now it'd probably be even cooler than that I'm sure I'm getting some heat reading off the road too so uh, but it's crazy that we're getting some rain so I've been thinking about, the, when my wife called the doctor's office the other day, they said that if my symptoms get any worse, I should probably just go to the hospital. And so I've been thinking about having her take me just because things seem to not get be getting any better. They actually seem to be getting worse. Um, today, I even took one of my, one of the pills they gave me to calm me down uh, because I really wasn't feeling good this morning. And so I took it. And I thought it would help. Uh, it did absolutely nothing um, with the initial pain. Uh, just sitting at my desk, of course, I don't really have any pain. And then, you know, medicine's kind of pointless then. But um, walking into work, I was just like, I couldn't catch my breath. And I uh, felt my, my lungs were constricted and my throat was constricted. And so I really think it's getting worse. And I don't know if I can hold out till the 18th. I really want to because going to the hospital is going to cost us thousands upon thousands of dollars that we just don't have. 
Uh, that's the state of the world when you have Obamacare that you can't afford to buy um, and you're a contractor and you can't really afford to have the insurance that they provide because it really doesn't cover anything. All right, so I'm home. I'm gonna go figure out where my wife's at. She's either still at work or at home. I'm gonna go talk to her. My left arm started feeling funny and um, sorry, I'm burping. I have a I have weird pain in my chest, so, but it's not consistent. It's just, it was there a little bit and then it went away. And it could just be all gas for all I know because I did have Mexican food for lunch. I had nachos, but uh, definitely not feeling like my normal self, that's for sure. And so I either get it checked out now or hold out for another week. So, and I can't even really get a full breath and my left arm isn't gripping very well. So I'm starting to think that I probably just need to go in. I'll just talk to my wife and see what she thinks. All right, I'm closing out Monday's vlog uh, this morning because, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Uh, the throat's dry. Um, I went home and went straight to bed. My wife asked me a couple of times, so I wanted to go to the hospital. I told her I wasn't sure, but I would like lay down for a little bit and see if it got any better. And it got it got better, and I wasn't having any pain or anything. And so I slept till probably about 10 30 or 11, and then I got up and put the chickens and the goats up, and then um let the dogs back out and let them potty and then put them back up and then uh, was on my phone for probably another hour uh, a little after midnight and then I went back to sleep I didn't sleep much because I still don't feel like great but I feel better than I did so so let's see how this day goes but um at least I feel better than I did when I went home last night so Anyway, that's pretty much all I got for Monday. Uh, I do want to say, um, whoa, they tore the street all to hell. Um, I'd like to give my condolences to Robin Williams' family. Um, he definitely an influence on a lot of people. And um, I can remember, I'm old enough to have watched Mark and Mindy in its first run, so, um, and I even saw him on Happy Days, so I can remember, you know, when he first came out, and, you know, people were like, oh, he's kind of funny, and I'm like, oh my god, he's hilarious, when I was a kid, then you watch a stand-up, and the guy's just, he's got it, you know, he's one of those people that just has it, and, um, it's sad to see that he possibly took his own life so you know you can't always say that money brings you happiness because obviously having money doesn't always make everybody happy so um, if you do have somebody in your life who um, suffers from depression make sure you get them some help um, sometimes you can try and try and try and nothing happens and they take their life anyway but you should at least uh, make a valiant effort to uh, to save their life, even if they don't want to. So, anyway, leaving it on a somber note on Monday. Um, thank you guys for watching. 